gotta love when government actually does something for the people man i am pumped on this news article just came out missouri legislature passes eviction moratorium ban as part of a property rights bill right y'all remember how terrible it was during covid when they just set it up where everybody can steal your house yeah, there has been a huge ripple effect uh, post-COVID, right? Lots of cities coming up with crazy laws. Glad to see the state stepped in in Missouri and is putting an end to that. Let's unpack this situation and what that means for landlords. Because this kind of thing is really common where a city, a small town or a city, will go rogue and create crazy laws. We'll talk about how I've dealt with that myself. Let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all. So first and foremost, right, what Missouri did, that's great. And hopefully we're going to see a lot of other states follow suit, okay? Now, for those of you with your head in the sand, I, myself, have made a whole lot of money investing in rental properties, doing rental property investments, brokering rental properties, the whole nine. That's what I do, okay? Transacted thousands of deals, over $200 million worth of sales, okay? So I know a little bit about this, right? And a lot of people who are not in the business, they don't seem to understand that politics and real estate, dude, they're hand in hand, okay? Probably one of the most, uh, like, over-legislated industries that we have in this country uh, is got to be real estate, okay? But people don't seem to understand that. The rules and the laws and how you conduct your business as a property investor are so different from state to state, city to city, et cetera, right? Like if you are a landlord in Arkansas, you're playing under a whole separate set of rules than you are if you're a landlord in Los Angeles, California, right? I just uh, discussed the story earlier uh, it takes two years now, two years to evict a tenant in New York, right? Whereas if you go to places in, like, I don't know, we'll talk about Arkansas again, right? If you go to Arkansas, pretty sure you could evict a tenant in, like, four hours. And if they're not out in four and a half, I think you could shoot them. I think that's, like, the law down there. I, I literally think they let you shoot those sons of bitches, right? You don't pay rent in Arkansas, bang! They don't mess around down there, okay? Now... Not to that extreme. That's obviously a joke. Oh, that was a joke. A little jokey joke between me and you. Um, but the laws are going to be totally different. I do all of my investing in, in red states and stuff, okay? And that's very, very important. But I should give you a caveat, which kind of ties into the story, right? Like Ohio, that's my playground. That's my number one, man. I do like 95, 97% of all my business here at Holton Wise is done in the state of Ohio, right? Now, Ohio's a red state, just like Missouri. But when you have red states, not all the cities are going to be red. You're going to have some blue cities, and they go rogue, okay? Like for me, Cleveland, right? If you Google James Wise, Justin Bibb, that's the mayor of Cleveland, you could see that me and him have gone back and forth many times because he's a crazy progressive maniac, and he goes out and does crazy things. And, uh, you know, he even gets, like, weird laws enacted, right? But... Because it's a red state, the state comes in overall and will provide that protection. So, like, you get these cities that will do, like, these crazy unconstitutional laws that, like, don't follow state law. And then you have to battle them in the court system to shut those motherfuckers down, right? And that's kind of what the story is about. Missouri, though, put an end to that. Thank God. I hope my state of Ohio follows suit. I hope you guys' states follow suit as well, okay? So, Missouri put an end to it. Now... In Missouri, you get random cities. And, like, after COVID, guys, like, I get it. We all dealt with the COVID uh, eviction ban, right? But then certain municipalities kept it going. Like, dude, I don't know. I think, like, in California, it still might be illegal to evict people because of COVID in certain places, right? Every little municipality has their own thing. But in California, they're all batshit crazy, right? Uh, or, like, Portland or Seattle. Think about that kind of stuff, right? Um, you will see... These random little cities wanting to do longer bans and things of that nature or just any type of rule or law that these random 
council members and mayor will come up with. It's nuts. And, like, guys, if you're in, like, a moderately sized city, like, we're not talking Los Angeles, California, or New York City, right, where there's millions and millions and millions of people in the city, like smaller cities, right? Uh, like back to Cleveland, dude, there's like 300 and something thousand people in the actual city, right? Being a council member in these types of cities, it's not like this like luxurious career uh, that pays a whole bunch of money and like you barely live off of it, honestly. And I think like a Cleveland council member makes like 25K a year or something, right? I would imagine it's very similar with uh, most of the states or most of the cities in Missouri, right? Definitely the blue ones, right? Smaller cities. So, like, it, you're not getting highly qualified, like, trained politicians, man. You're getting, like, bottom-of-the-barrel people that are willing to, like, work around the poverty line, right? So they come up with crazy-ass ideas with, like, no legal training of any sort, right? Uh, but what I like to see is that a place like Missouri has shut that shit down before it starts. They said, no! Nah! We ain't doing that here, okay? The whole crux of what they did is cities are now banned from enacting a ban if it does not follow state guidelines, right? They just shut it down before it starts. And that's what I want to see more of, man. We got to put an end to these, like, rogue little city governments that just try to put stuff on the books and see if it gets appealed later, right? Because that hurts everybody. It's nonsense. And, hey, we got the Constitution, right? State rights matter. Okay, so good job out of Missouri. Very happy to hear this. This is great case law, and hopefully more states are going to follow suit to put an end to these progressives, you know, just getting a very small amount of votes through uh, and start wreaking havoc and doing things that are not legal. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.